The sign is up letting people know that the Clemente Bridge is going to be closed starting on February 14th, Valentine's Day. Take a look at the flip side. Crews have updated signage ready to go once that date gets a little bit closer. In the meantime, county officials are letting people know they might want to pick up their mementos before this rehab project starts. They're badges of love, symbols of loss, thousands of memories clinging to the Clemente Bridge. A friend of mine, he's now down in Florida. Uh, he wanted us to stay friends no matter what. Jeremy Roberts had a lock on the neighboring Warhol Bridge and took it off before it got a major facelift a few years back. It's nice to just to keep like a memento of somebody that you grew up with. Now it's the Clemente Bridge's turn. Officials are encouraging people to take these off before crews cut them loose. The $34.4 million plan will repair steel and concrete, give it a paint job, and make other improvements too. Right now, people have bridges at the top of mind. You know, I don't want to be crossing over something that's dangerous, especially with unexpected accidents happening like last week. The bridge was listed in fair condition in its most recent inspection. We asked why it's getting precedent over others in worse shape. Well, this is a step away from being in poor condition. So we've been repairing this structure along the way, and now it's time to rehab it. DPW head Stephen Shanley says the county has a robust program to ensure bridges get the repairs they need. Back at the Clemente, the unclaimed locks will be used for public arts projects, giving them new life. But we should also note that county officials are asking people to stop putting their locks on bridges. I'm Tom Garris for Pittsburgh's Action News 4. Good